In this video, I'll show you how to use the passenger display in a Porsche Taycan. So the passenger display is an option that puts a second display right next to the PCM. And it's a good use of space because normally, uh, if you didn't have this, it would just uh, be blank. Uh, it'd be like this trim that you see over here. Uh, so this allows the passenger to, to control and see certain things in the car uh, while the driver is obviously driving. Uh, keep in mind that the passenger display will only work while driving if somebody's in the passenger seat with their seatbelt on, uh, but you can access it uh, if you're stopped, if you're the driver. Okay. Uh, so what it does is it mirrors a lot of the uh, apps and features that you have on the main PCM. Uh, so you can see here that I have a, a home screen. And so one of the things that they can do is they can go ahead and click on cockpit. They can see how fast you're going, uh, what drive mode you're in, how many G-forces you're pulling, and um, some other information uh, as well over here to the right. And then a nice feature is that they can control the media. So very similar to what you see on the main PCM, uh, they can change to different uh, radio stations, sources, uh, they can see favorites, and so they basically can play uh, DJ as you're driving around, right? Even to adjust uh, different sound settings and make adjustments uh, all on their screen that you see over here. All right, we'll go back to the home screen again. Uh, navigation. So another great thing is that they can input a destination, and unlike the main PCM screen while you're driving, uh, this one... They can actually type while you're driving along. And so if you need to put in a destination, change something, uh, that can all be done from um, the passenger display as well. Uh, if they need to make a phone call, they can. And so you can actually control which phone you want the uh, passenger display to use. Uh, they can also hook up and use different, uh, different phones, as you can see here. Unfortunately, uh, Apple CarPlay is not available on the, the passenger display. Uh, they can adjust certain settings inside the PCM. So if you needed to, to do some of them that were again related to the, to the passenger display, uh, they can obviously do those. They can check the weather, uh, see some instructions and, and info as well. Okay. They also have some, some quick uh, menu items off to the left. Uh, again, we basically have already talked about these. Again, cockpits. Again, a really interesting one if you're if you're driving around. They can also set up their own My Screen. So if you go ahead and tap the Home button again, uh, they can control what is displayed here as well. If you go down to the three little dots, you can configure My Screen, and you can drag and drop what you want to see. All right. So that's the basic functionality of the passenger display. And now keep in mind again, if you are driving and nobody's sitting here. Uh, one of two things will happen. Either this display will be uh, in um, standby mode, which you get a nice Tycon uh, screen. So say if somebody's sitting here and it, it is the screen, you can just tap on it and it'll come back up. Uh, or you can have the option to just uh, uh, turn it off. Okay. Um, and you can tap it if you need to turn it back on. But again, like I said before, somebody does need to be sitting with their seatbelt on in order for this display to work while you're driving.